Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Dwarves uh, Endless Mode. Um, my intent was to keep going like until I died, but that didn't happen all episode, and I played for an hour. So uh, I guess we're just gonna keep going here as well. Uh -oh. Oh, that's a really bad place for love to be, fam. Please go. All right, I think that might work. It's just crazy enough too. That was a waste of stuff. Get away from the lava. Can't you guys do some triangulation and figure out that there's a bunch of molten rock in this fucking cave? Come on, you guys are supposed to be the engineers of the fantasy world. Please. Contribute to your own society. Stop knocking holes and walls that hold in things that are bad. It doesn't feel like it would be that hard. Alright. Let's get a new outpost out here. No one's digging this ways. While well, I'm here, let me start to pack this up. That's okay, we've got a lot of those. Okay. Okay, cool. Is or was? And the shaman has entered rage mode. Whatever exactly that means. Right, we'll let him hit like three or four, my maybe. I had one of these last night. They're so good and yet so expensive and addictive. Like, I don't need this. But it is possibly my favorite way to drink coffee. I also just love the vibe, you know? I love drinking shit out of a glass bottle. All right, get him, flank him. Yeah, look at that. Wow, there's a... a lot of stuff up here that's uh, untapped. Um, this cave is already pretty sealed off, which is great, because I don't have to do my work then. Unless I sealed this cave and forgot. I'm missing some of my um, Dwarven Warriors, but there isn't like a button that I can just hit to snap between outposts. 
so I don't know what outposts are missing warriors. Started to get that notification, and then it stopped. I think that means that my plan worked and that guy blew up the thing even though I was away. There we go, look at that. Perfectly sealed away. Now where the heck should I go next? swath that's just been sliced out of the middle. Oh, grass grows here. Because that used to just be this tiny little square, but look. It's expanding into this whole thing. Wow. That's neat as shit. I love that. I wish this game was a little deeper and Dwarf Fortress more simple. Or that RimWorld had a, like, dwarf theme going on. Perfect world, you know? Let's get this boy encased. It's good to have a hallway, I'm thinking. Of course, the treasure cave. Some dwarves to make me some more money if that's all right with everyone. Oh wow, that was quick. Fine by me. Oh man, I'm gonna have to erase this gold. Sucks. I guess, like, part of my problem is just that I'm bitching at an indie game for being an indie game. And, like, man, this game is really solid considering that it is cheap as shit and does not have a lot of stuff going on. Like, it came out and it's fine and it works, you know?
big cave, but I'm kind of glad that like I can lock away this large of an area. Smargandine a kind of emerald. Smaragdine, maybe. Suffice to say. Oh. Well, that's fantastic, in fact. Now, unfortunately, a lot of guys will get just stuck in here because... You know, they gotta be like... How could you grab that for me, huh? A lot of guys will get stuck in there because... Uh, a lot of stuff that... A lot of stuff in their way, but, you know, that's fine. Wow. Treasure. Get back that way and grab the... Thank you. Oh, there's so many musical stings. My wife's calling me. One moment. All right, I'm back. My uh, my wife called me to wish me a happy uh, National Fried Chicken Day. No, it's National. Uh, it's the day. In fact, it's Fourth of July. Uh, the reason I'm recording shit instead of, you know, doing something cool is because I'm waiting on my uh, reprobates of friends to wake up. And as you may recall, my wife is still out of town in college. Right, let's let's uh let's start to get this going, huh? good. There we go. Just missed a minor little thing. Okay, uh, let's get that one down. I know that I've missed one that I, I need to finish, like, constructing and shit. I should grab that for me, huh? Look at that. Holy shit. Like, the map is so huge. Oh my god, I've hit a thousand dwarves. I hadn't even noticed. This feels nice. This is fun. Okay, go block that off, will ya? Go clog that hole.
God damn it, not again. A what now? Well, that's not good. I just need to make sure that this gets locked down. And it is good. Now again, because of the wonky uh, system of... Holy shit. Wonky system of things. Uh, can't go click on the thing, but that's okay. Turn up some new fighting guys. Oh, he just pulls you to him. Pulls him to him. Well, we got a little more going here. Because we're going to need it, you know? Fighting a fucking war down here. I didn't need that right now, you know? Where's the lava? There we go. All of the things that I did not need, that was a big one. Holy shit, this is a huge lava cave. We're still at war with that lich, huh? Outpost is under attack. I've got a billion of those. I gotta lock this off, fam. There we go. Shit, dog. That sucks. This lich dies, that is going to be a load off my mind. Oh. Well, there you go. I guess I'll take you guys off training. I ever saw liches prior to now. I mean, does Speak of the Devil even begin to cover it? It 
sucks to erase gold. It reminds me of like a Facebook game or like one of the games that would come like standard preloaded on a Windows machine. Please get to this before. We should be fine. Okay, we're good. We're good. The apple's fine. That's really unfortunate. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. For God's sakes. Another level 10 warrior. Lich on undead. Doesn't that mean 11 dead? <laughs> I'm a funny man. Right. In this for. Wow, where'd my money go? These guys is probably still like training things automatically. This place is now getting so huge, it is really hard to even remember where the center is. Like, look at this thing. Let's establish some uh, good connections with the uh, natives here, huh? The locals. And then put new FOB up. One would think that an outpost could generate warriors of its own just to fight, but like, I guess not. Yeah, like the fact that you have to automatically go and click to make warriors appear. Lethal annoying. Wow, two water caves right next to each other.
And that is peachy. I think this should be another case of like yes there is a thing but like you don't really got to worry about it as long as somebody goes and touches it it should be fine Get a couple of those huh oh dear Why are you doing this? For what purpose are you going in there, dog? I bet it has burned through a wall. We also got to plug this other side. Oh, and a dwarf has struck water. All right. You got to get over here and fix that. Oh, dear. Trap that cave. How dare this fucking guy do that to me? Uh huh. Are we not good here, guys? There we go. Lord help me. How could they be so naive? This will be the new big, uh, this is the new furthest out FOB, I think. cave might be too big to not be dangerous, you know? A lich has entered... We haven't killed that guy? Wow, wow. Good thing I boxed that off, huh? Oh, and an outpost is under attack as well. Oh, it's this outpost. Yeah. You deal with 
with that, guys? I know you're all level one. I guess you can't. Don't you just, like, hate it when you have, uh, like, games that don't go together? Alright, somewhere we've hit the strongest warrior possible, and I don't know where they are, and they can't come and help me because I don't know where they are. But I'm also not going to be able to turn off the outposts, like, thing, and so it's going to spend money on training nothing because they're already maxed out. Oh boy. Can you get over here? But not that exactly. I think liches are just gonna have to be a thing that we live with now. You know what I'm saying? Like, death by lich is now going to just be a uh, statistically known fact. Like, look, if you live in here, you have like a 1 in 30 chance of dying to lich. Just the way it is, you know? We, we, we wish it wasn't the case, but, you know, unfortunately, that's that's the deal. Oh dear, come on. It's all these goddamn dwarven warriors that are just taking up my money. Because I can't turn off the their training. Like, I've just got to, like, get to it first, you know? Alright, cave clogged. Of course, that. Why would I want open water? Why would I want the hazard? Oh, boy. these guys back oh man that is not what I needed right now and he's taking this long ass way around it. that is even less of what I needed It's all falling apart. I'm just gonna have to like find who's taking my money. What the hell was that?
Okay, lava's burning through walls. God, there's so much. There's one. Lord. drag you over here. Why doesn't it just snap to where I can just have him do his job, you know? What? Oh my god, this is taking forever. <laughs> What happened? Does that thing where the lich teleports to you? Oh my god, it's lagging. Wow, it's chugging. We're going down to seconds per frame. A lich phantom destroyed your base. Wow. Um, so yeah, it's a good game. It has problems, to be sure. It, it's got issues, you know? And, like, what game doesn't? But, like, man, there are just some issues with this that are, like, that really can impact your enjoyment of this. Um, but it's not a bad game. It's actually a really good game. Uh, if you love the vibe of Ant Hill and Dwarf Fortress is too complex for you, uh, please buy this game. Support the developers. I always enjoy telling people to, de to support developers. Um... So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Dwarves. Uh, dwarves and Tarot Bang. Um, have a good day. <laughs>